relax with me. Just relax with me. Just relax with me. Top of a chain. Hey guys, what's up? This is Double Bubba J, and today I am so excited for this video. Um, we're going to be trying something a little bit different. First and foremost, as you can already tell, I am doing like a more of a soft-spoken ASMR video today. Um, if you end up liking this um, and think it sounds okay, um, let me know, and I'll do more like this. Um, secondly, uh, this is actually going to be more of like a slideshow video, like a show and tell. About a month ago, I had a vacation from work. Um, I stayed here in Florida, but I was given a vacation, so why not, right? Um, I stayed here, and we went to Orlando for a few days, and I wanted to visit uh, Madame Tussauds. I had only been to one Madame Tussauds before, um, just the one in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I loved it then, and I wanted to see what kind of cool stuff they had at the Orlando location. So that was a lot of fun, and today I'm actually going to be showing you videos from that. So here we go. Let's just start. So first off, a selfie from the dressing room, I guess, just because I love it, okay? <laughs> and you know I'm always going to preach self-confidence on my channel. If you can spot it, don't judge. It was pretty cold in the dressing room. <laughs> and yes, I did buy this particular shirt. I'm sure by now I've recorded at least a couple videos in the same shirt. So on to the actual Madame Tussauds photos. And I'm going to tell you what I think about most of these wax figures as I'm showing the photos as well. And remember, these photos were taken at the location in Orlando. They're all different. Let's start out strong. While this obviously isn't a wax figure of a person, more so a set, I love this shot. I want to say this was some sort of set piece from Pirates of the Caribbean, but that almost wouldn't really make much sense. Um, <laughs> but this shot definitely gives you a sense of my sort of humor. I'm pretty goofy. Uh, would you want me steering your cruise ship? I know you do. <laughs> like, what am I even looking at here, though? Was someone going shirtless on a nearby island, or were we heading straight towards the iceberg? Well, we don't need another repeat of Titanic now, do we? Um, <laughs> Let's not even talk about that, okay? Next photo. Uncle Sam, my homie. He was trying to put all the blame on me, and I said, no, you. <laughs> Another pretty goofy shot. I think they did a great job on this figure, if my memory of the actual Uncle Sam serves me correctly. What do you think? This one. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't bash me. This is purely for fun, and I'm by no means confirming or denying anything regarding my beliefs on this platform, alright? I suppose this was the first pose that came to mind when I saw this wax figure. <laughs> that and the thought that they did a terrible job on his hair. <laughs> Let me just say that. Unless it actually looks like that bad these days, like the wax figure has a freaking rat tail for Pete's sake. Whether that's true to Trump's actual appearance, no idea. Haven't really paid much attention to him, to be honest. In the same room, we had another former president, Barack Obama. Woohoo! Much better job done on this wax figure, in my opinion. And he looks way happier than the former one I just showed, don't you think? He always seemed like such a class act. I'd love to actually meet the man someday, again. Not confirming or denying my religious beliefs, or political beliefs, my bad, on this platform. <laughs> he just always seemed like the kind of friend you'd love to go golfing with while the kiddos are in school during the week. <laughs> if I only I was into golf and had kids. See, told ya, not really into golf. 
here we have Tiger Woods doing his thing on the field. I'm just chilling in the golf cart, ready to drive him over to the next hole. This wax figure was pretty cool, but I do feel like something is a bit off about the face. I can't quite put my finger on it. It almost looks like someone went into Adobe Photoshop, airbrushed an image of him, and they took that depiction of him and made a wax figure based on that. <laughs> Again, sorry, I'm not trying to be too critical about this. Um, just give my honest opinion. <laughs> All right, so I obviously jumped the gun a bit there, but it was hard not to follow that golf joke with the photo of Tiger Woods. So back in what I'll call the presidential suite, we have me. This is literally how I would occupy the desk. <laughs> my security guard would just be like, what exactly am I securing? Am I just here to watch you do nothing with your feet propped up on the desk while I make sure no one comes in here to deliver <laughs> important paper paperwork? <laughs> I actually, actually, that's a great idea. Screw preventing dangerous people from getting to me. I'm just trying to avoid the important documents and new laws I have to sign off on. I kid, I kid. Or do I? Okay, moving on. So this is me with Mr. Albert Einstein. And I'm not looking at him all side-eyed because of his awkward pose, nor the wax figure itself. It's pretty great, actually, but that sure. They put this man in a clearance old navy fleece. You remember those commercials in the mid 2000s that they always show around Christmas time when the fleeces were going on sale? <laughs> Madame Tussauds knew they were on a budget for this one and had to take advantage of the sale. Some employee was probably in old navy shopping for their grandkids at Christmas time when they got the call that they needed a sweater for this wax figure pronto or their job was in jeopardy. The employee saw this beige disaster and said, On it. <laughs> David Beckham, this dreamy guy. I often refer to him as Mr. Victoria Beckham just because I love the Spice Girls and she's a legend, like it or not. And I know you secretly love it. <laughs> I forgot about the tattoos, especially the one on his hand. It was a pleasure standing next to this guy and they did a great job on his wax figure. Although the suit threw me off, I suppose. They had so many other athletes at the Wax Museum that were donning their athletic attire. Didn't even have David here, a soccer player, all suited up. What? But I'm sure that at some point, Madame Tussauds probably did have such a wax figure for him. Or that they have such a figure at another Madame Tussauds location. Oh, and here's some random bonus photos of me playing around behind him. <laughs> Some lady actually came up to us while I was taking these pictures and was like, Oh, you're acting like y'all are best friends. You're just all up in his locker, all up in his business, like like, like someone invited you into their refrigerator. <laughs> Del Earnhardt Jr. I love the ones that involve me having a seat. I had to take a photo with him for the simple fact that my late granddad would watch the NASCAR races. And for a very brief period growing up, I would watch them too. I love the relaxed pose of this wax figure, and they did a great job with his likeness. This is where things make it a little critical, not towards Beyonce. I love her, but this doesn't look like her. If anything, it looks more like her mom, Tina, but even I think I'm being generous just by saying that. Of course, I was going to get a photo with her, though, because it's the queen bee we're talking about here. Sorry, little Kim. <laughs> I love Beyonce and how much of a perfectionist she is when it comes to every aspect of her career, especially her live shows. Going to see her live is definitely a bucket list item. Okay, ignore my pose here. I was trying to do something cute by crossing my leg over Ricky Martin's, and I gave myself a muffin top. <laughs> hey, when that happens. This, to me, was the most well-done wax figure at this Madame Tussauds location. And no, I'm not saying this out of bias for the obvious reasons you think. I mean, the wax figure is extremely handsome like him, yes, but knowing that trademark smile and being able to get him in that pose is just awesome. Next, we've got Madonna. 
This is my laughable attempt, <laughs> very laughable attempt at voguing. I think people actually saw my boyfriend taking the picture of me off to the side and were just in utter shock that I was doing the Vogue this bad, but it's okay. I'm not a professional Voguer, okay? <laughs> and then looking at Maluna like, why are we doing this strange pose with our hands covering our chest? Both are pretty well done though, I must say. Maluno's sexy. He's a non-factor, but he's sexy. <laughs> I'm kidding. All you Maluna fans out there, I'm kidding. Taylor. I think they did a brilliant job with this one. Unlike Beyonce, this one looks very realistic. And I must say, when I walked into the room where this wax figure was located, I was instantly drawn toward this one. A year ago, I probably wouldn't have cared. But honestly... This past year, I've listened to a lot of Taylor Swift, and I really do get what all the hype is about. I'm loving her own music, and I'm actually working on collecting some of her records. She's an amazing lyricist, and I really would have loved to see her live um, in Tampa. She's actually doing three dates here at the um, Raymond James Stadium, and... I'm not completely cutting out hope. Um, I might still be able to go. That would be awesome, especially in my birthday month, being April. I am so, so, so stoked about the concert I'm going to. <laughs> How's that for affirmation? Okay, enough fangirling over Taylor. Michael Jackson. Love, love, love him. Seriously. Do I prefer his sister Janet a little bit more? Sure. Do I think it's crap that they don't currently have a wax figure of her? Yep. But Michael is the OG king of pop. Sorry, Harry Styles. And he's super iconic. Regardless of what you believe, what went on with him or not, I seriously think being in the public eye and being under so much scrutiny by the media really screwed him over in the long run. I personally think so many of those stories were twisted way out of proportion. Full-blown accusations, and that's just my opinion to be honest. Love his music, even though I must admit it took me forever to really start giving it a listen after he died, in fact. How sad is that? Unpopular opinion incoming, but I love his last album he recorded, Invincible. Miley Cyrus. Again, a little off in the face, but they nailed the hair and the outfit. I took this one really quick because I was afraid she'd start licking on me and booty popping. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I guess that whole bangers era is far behind her. Good riddance. <laughs> getting, getting, getting. Jimmy Fallon. I had the most fun with this wax figure. Here are various different photos where I'm sitting next to him as his guest of the night, just as I always was destined to be. And then after my interview, here I am, trying to really just steal the show and get as much camera time as possible by fetching Jimmy his Colombian brew coffee with double shots of coconut creamer and a splash of Kahlua, because no one needs to know. <laughs> and here I am just showcasing my true intentions, really trying to milk the screen time by leaning on him for another photo op. Is it just me, or is he looking like, enough, you can go now? <laughs> um, not quite sure what was happening here. I guess I was trying to help Oprah Winfrey with her glass slipper. She was headed out to the Cinderella ball, I guess. <laughs> You know the one, but nah, she looked great. And so does Sheldon, who I'm just chilling with here. Not much to say about this one, but besides Sheldon, there was a camera set up, and I'm handling it the completely wrong way. Like, what exactly am I even looking into? <laughs> Moving on. 
Hey, no Patrick Harris. Mind if I tug on your tire for no apparent reason? <laughs> this photo of me and the no parking sign is actually my current Facebook profile picture. I like it that much. This random no parking sign can be found in the same vicinity of all the superheroes which you're about to see now. I figured I would strike a pose with my leg around it as if it were a stripper pole or something. <laughs> Just to be silly and with no intentions of ever posting it or sharing it. But hey, guess what? Turns out I love how it came out. What do you think? Just as promised, here I am with Superman. Batman was literally about 10 feet from him, and I just realized, while I was preparing for this show and tell video, that I didn't even get a photo with him. Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Apparently I wasn't. But anyway, bomber. I digress. Here's me and Superman being strong AF. And we were holding up a helicopter. You can't tell. But this is all me right here. Seriously. Yeah, Superman is barely even helping. Like, it, I could have used a little bit of help. I've literally got all the weight. Like, come on, man. You're supposed to be Superman. Help a brother out. These next few shots aren't going to have much context. But they're some of my favorites. Here I am with Sammy and Danny from Greece. Serving up our best Charlie's Angels realness. <laughs> if Charlie's Angels practice social distancing. <laughs> Look how far apart we are. Here I am, climbing with the rock. This was a very cool setup, actually. Obviously, the shot is turned at a 90 degree angle to give the illusion of climbing a building. Unlike Superman, the rock is strong. <laughs> Especially to support both of our weight while climbing this thing. Dude is a beast. And then I decided to phone home with E.T. Again, super cool and cute setup. I actually really love how this shot came out. Beautiful backdrop. Here I am posing with the song Stealing Queen. <laughs> I'm going to make so many enemies with this video or just... Make you guys laugh, because I'm just spitting facts here. <laughs> the song Stilling Queen, Jennifer Lopez. I'm kidding, though. I love her. But I mean, yeah, she definitely doesn't write her own music, and there's a lot of vocals that aren't hers on her songs. Just being real. <laughs> but anyway, she looks great here, and I do too. I look better with her than Ben Affleck does, if I must say so myself. <laughs> but due to my sexual orientation, she'll have to just make do with Ben Affleck. Okay, so, unlike the Albert Einstein photo, where I was looking at him for the fleece sweater, and Maluna for the weird bro pose, I am actually looking at Channing Tatum all weird because his face went through a freaking metamorphosis for this wax figure. It does not look like him. Channing is very good looking, and this looks like one of his fellow Magic Might castmates. Gave him a lap dance, but completely missed his lap and went straight towards the face, which may have been enjoyable for him, but the wax says otherwise. Friction and wax, a good time doesn't make, unless it's one of those cool massage bars. <laughs> Here I am doing what Shaquille O'Neal does best, only with a lot less effort, and it looks just as effective to me, okay? Say what you will. It's called a layup, man. Work smarter, not harder, Mr. O'Neill. <laughs> and if anyone knows how to work harder in sports, it's me. Here I am coaching Muhammad Ali from afar about how and when he needs to connect with his underhook. But again, from afar, so I don't feel the wrath of it myself. Excellent job with this one, by the way. Shaquille too, for that matter. Bad Bunny. Not a fan of his at all. No idea who he even is or what he does. He could be a gang member, a country music star, or a professional connoisseur of frozen yogurt. I just liked the pose and wanted to do it too. I wanted to be one of the cool kids. <laughs> and 
And speaking of being cool, I guess looking severely down and out is what's in these days. How depressed do we look, huh? Also, they did a good job with him, but I would have preferred a different look for Bieber. To be honest, and obviously a different facial expression. Here I am looking sexy with a wax figure who I think was supposed to be Katy Perry, but not sure. Alright, I'm kidding. Again, hey love, love, love. Um, me some Madame Tussauds, and these museums are my favorite. But that doesn't mean I can't be just a little bit critical. Sometimes the faces just fall a little short for me, but that's okay. That's just my opinion. Here I am, quote unquote, just visiting with Shrek and Fiona. Pretty cute setup. More than likely set up for kids, but I have an inner child in me, and I actually never grew up on the outside either, so there you go. Me with Shrek and Fiona. <laughs> and having brunch with Tiffany. At least I think that's her name. To be honest, I have never, ever seen Breakfast at Tiffany's, and I feel like such a horrible member of the LGBTQ plus community for even admitting that, but it's definitely on my list, I promise, just for how iconic it is. I've heard amazing things, and I'm constantly seeing artwork from this movie everywhere I turn. I even remember seeing it at an urgent care once. Sean Mendez. Okay, so... They had this one set up to where you lie beside him on this bed and an overhead camera takes your photo. But I just couldn't follow suit and do what everyone else does, okay? <laughs> so I basically just sat at his side and pronounced him dead right there on the spot. <laughs> All in jest though, obviously. I think he is so talented. Really been listening to him a lot lately, actually, and him and Charlie Puth, actually. Here's me with some lady named Katniss from the Hunger Games. Listen, I have no idea. My boyfriend made me take this picture, okay? <laughs> no joke. But he's supposed to be introducing me to the Hunger Games movie, so it should all make sense soon in terms of who she is and what the heck we're supposed to be looking at. Maybe she's waiting for her pizza and she's getting ready with her bow and arrow in case her delivery driver tries to give her some kind of grief for giving the pizza to her for free because she had been waiting for an hour for the pizza. Does Domino's and Pizza Hut still do that? Asking for our friend. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys a few more photos to end the video with. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, um, if you liked this video and you liked the whole soft-spoken, full voice thing, give it a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what else you guys would like to see on my channel, and until next time, I love you guys, peace, and now, some outro music, dub.